Motorcycle enthusiasts in the country who are part of the Go Fast crowd are drawn to high-performing, agile and versatile rides. And with rising fuel costs and challenging traffic levels, riders who have a need for speed also have a need for fuel efficiency. Kung gusto mo ng sport bike na pwede mong magamit for your daily drives on the weekdays at pwede mo ring isaabak sa racetrack on the weekends, the Yamaha R15M is a stellar option that you should definitely check out. For today's test ride, let's explore one of Yamaha's most anticipated and sought-after sport bikes for 2022, the Yamaha R15M. Bearing the Yamaha Racing DNA, ang R15M ang pinakabagong addition sa R-Series ng Japanese motorbike giant. It became a sought-after sport bike because of its brand new features and refreshing fairings that promise a high-performance riding experience. Iisaisahin po natin ang mga features na yan before we give the R15M a test ride. The R15M piques the interest of motorbike aficionados dahil mayroon itong performance and safety-oriented features na makikita sa motorcycles with bigger displacements, katulad ng YZF R1 and R7. The R15M is powered by a 155cc liquid-cooled 4-valve single overhead cam fuel-injected engine. What is notable here is that it's also engineered with VVA or the Variable Valve Actuation. Ibig sabihin, tuned ang makina nito for fuel efficiency at low to mid RPM range and higher power output naman pagdating mo sa high RPM range. Ang maximum output nito ay 18.4 horsepower at 10,000 RPM at ang maximum torque naman nito ay 14.2 newton meter at 7,500 rpm. Mayroon din itong 6-speed constant mesh transmission, telescopic fork front suspension, at swing arm rear suspension. It's obvious that the RR15M is a beautifully designed sport bike. Actually, some say na para tong sleeker version ng Yamaha R7. Itong nire-review po natin ngayon ay ang anniversary white variant na may undeniable high-end look and feel. Contributing to the overall sporty look, it has a delta box frame and a sharp and edgy tail section with an air scoop na katulad ng version 3 ng R15M. Isa rin sa mga una mong mapapansin ay itong LED projector headlight na nakamount sa gitna. Meron ding LED tail light, daylight running lights sa harap at front and rear bulb type turning lights. What's evident sa motorbike na ito ay designed ito with aerodynamics in mind. Mataas ang bubble windscreen to cut through the air while you ride at may fairing sa gilid at likod that give off a smooth outline and help reduce drag. Napababa rin nila ang aerodynamic drag coefficient nito from 0.307 sa third version to 0.293 sa fourth version ng R15. Hindi masyadong drastic ang decrease pero this can affect performance. In what way? Kung mababa po kasi ang wind drag, it's easier for you to get to your highest speed. Plus, mas mababa rin ang konsumo mo sa gasolina. Now let's go over its LCD meter panel. It's fully digital and pretty much looks the same as the R1s. You can modify what you can see on the panel by switching between the street mode and track mode. For the street mode, it displays information that you need for city riding. Kasama dyan yung speedometer, odometer, RPM na nagsisimula sa 1000. At traction control. Sa track mode naman, you will see information na kailangan mo naman sa race track. Nag-uumpisa yung RPM nito at 6,000 at may tracker din ito na magpapakita ng lap time mo. Punta naman tayo sa handlebars. 
This is where you can change the displayed information sa dashboard mo. As you can see, may pagkaalo yung finish niya. Sa right handlebar, nandito yung start at stop switch, yung hazard button, at yung button kung saan pwede mong ma-adjust yung brightness ng panel. Sa left handlebar, nandito naman yung switches for high and low beams, yung turning switch at busina. Ang R15M ay may seat height na 815 millimeters and ang ground clearance nito ay 170 millimeters. 140 kilograms naman ang weight nito. Kung makikita ninyo, at my height 5.8, kaya mong umapak ng naka-flat. Mas lalo na yung mga medyo matatangkad pa. Or a little shorter, siguro medyo aangat ka ng konti, pero magaang naman siya. Now let's talk about this sport bike's unique selling points. Una po dyan ang traction control system. Ang R15M, ang pinakaunang edition sa R15 series na may traction control feature na nagre-reduce ng chances na mag spin ang bike mo. Helpful itong traction control system sa mga uncontrolled na sitwasyon. Halimbawa, napunta ka sa medyo mabuhangin o kaya mabatong lugar at hindi makakapit ng matindi yung gulong mo o kaya uh, nandun ka naman sa halimbawa ay racetrack. The R15M is also the first single-cylinder motorbike from Yamaha na mayroong quick shifter which eliminates the need to use the clutch sa ating upshift. Pero take note na sa downshift, kailangan mo pa rin gamitin ang clutch. With its assist and slipper clutch feature, nababawasan din ang clutch pull at excessive engine braking which makes for a low-stress shifting when you decelerate. You can comfortably and safely upshift and downshift dahil hindi maglalak ang rear wheel kapag ka nag-sudden downshift ka. Another great feature with the R15M is its ABS, something that's not included sa karamihan ng mga motorbike of the same type. In fact, yung version 3 ng R15M ay wala nitong feature na ito. Kinokontrol nito ang harap at likod na disc brakes para matulungan ka sa mas efficient, mas safe na pagpepreno. Especially at times na medyo nagpapanik braking ka na. It also comes with upside-down front forks and 140mm tires na versatile sa anumang klase ng daan. Isa rin sa assets nito for safe riding ay ang side stand kill switch feature. You can also monitor your R15M on your phone via the Y-Connect system. When you download the Y-Connect system app, you can see if you have messages and calls via an indicator light sa display screen. Makikita mo din ang battery level ng phone mo sa display. Makikita mo naman sa app ang ibang important information about the bike tulad ng total mileage, fuel consumption, and even maintenance recommendations and your most recent parking location. Aggressive ang body position ng rider sa motorbike na ito kaya hmm, bagay ito sa race track. Magaang pa, magaang dalhin, no? At meron din itong special carbon seat. At maya-maya po titignan natin yung riding comfort nito when we take it out for a spin. If you wish to own a Yamaha R15M, the Icon Performance variant has a price tag of 189,500 pesos. Meanwhile, ito pong anniversary white variant naman po has an SRP of 193,500 pesos. 4,000 pesos more expensive itong limited edition anniversary white variant than the base variant. In case you're interested to know the reason why this motorbike retails higher, apart from the gills, gold emblems, aluminum swing arm, and the gray muffler guard present in this variant, it bears special badges that are dedicated to Yamaha's 60th World Grand Prix anniversary. Without further ado, let's uh, now take it out for a thrilling test ride. Let's go, it's riding time! 
Subukan natin ngayon itong R15M ng Yamaha. Ito po ang uh, smallest sa R lineup. And yan yung sports motorcycle lineup ng Yamaha. And uh, together with this is the R1 na liter bike. Uh, yung pong bagong R7 na pumalit naman doon sa R6. And we hope that someday, sana, uh, may test try din natin mo. Yung mga yan, no? abangan nyo po dito sa Manipena. Mapapansin mo agad dito sa bike na to. Oh, magaang itong dalim. Easy lang siya na i-maneuver. Maganda yung handling at maganda din pag-practice to. Especially uh, those who would like to uh, try the race track no? bago mo gamitin yung mas malalaking mga uh, displacement na bike. Pwede ka mag-start dito. Aggressive yung body position ng rider dito, no? which is normal naman yan sa mga sports bike. Uh, and ang disadvantage nga lang po ng ganitong position, siyempre, especially when you are old like me, mas madali kang mangawit sa long ride. Kung halimbawa ang isipin mo na gusto mong ibiyahin ang medyo malayo. But about power delivery, Uh, hindi ka naman madi-disappoint. Although, syempre, uh, alam mo yung ano, kung nakagamit ka na ng mga malalaking bike. Uh, sa top end mo, mararamdaman mo yung power niya. Uh, hindi ka naman mabibitin. 18 horsepower kasi po ito ding uh, motor na to, no? And enough. But, at uh, decent naman yun. Kaya, kayang-kaya niya. Kasi lightweight naman yung kanyang body yung frame niya. No? Hindi siya ganun kalakas, siyempre. Eh, ano lang naman to, eh. 155cc engine lang to. Kasi. At, uh, kumbaga, this is an entry level no? for those who really would like to try sports bike. May katigasan yung suspension niya, which is expected as well dahil sport bike na ito. No? Ito naman talaga yung kailangan para mas maganda yung performance niya. Maganda yung uh, cornering, okay siya, no? And um, predictable at saka talagang madali i-maneuver. Maganda rin yung brakes niya, ha? responsive. Responsive yung ABS. Smooth ang acceleration pagka may exit ka sa corner. Talaga, ano, track ready na to actually yung nakita ko ginagamit nila to sa mga nagtuturo ano, uh, ng uh, pagraride sa mga tracks okay na okay kasi to para sa mga beginner kahit na oh, siguro yung, yung mga matatagal na din na riders na gusto nila lang ng parang ano lang ano, pang, pang uh, review review and, uh, recommended dito ng mga nagko-coach nakita ko kasi po ito eh, pinapagamit nila doon sa mga estudyante nila nire-recommend nila yung mag-start ng R15 para sa uh, kanilang pagka-track speaking of track day meron din po itong quick shifter ha and uh, although upshifts lang po ito meron pero useful na to para pagka sumaba ka sa track ito pa lang yata yung nasa small displacement category na merong quick shifter. Hindi ko lang kung alam, baka meron akong na-miss out na pero ito pa lang kasi yung parang alam ko no, na merong ganito na, na quick shifter siya kapag ka nilabas mo ng kasa. Yung iba kasi parang i-minomodify nila. Eh. At all in all, kung ang gusto mo talaga mag-ride sa twisties o kaya gusto mong sumubok na mag-race track, good option din itong bike na to para sa beginners. Mag-enjoy ka sa riding experience.